As we approach a decade of World Championship events in League's history, there have been no shortage of incredible outplays and supreme displays of talent, but narrowing these incredible individual outplays down to 10, now that's a challenge that we're willing to take. Here are the 10 best plays in World's history. In solo queue, when you're down 10,000 gold and lose an inhib at 24 minutes, that's a classic GG go next. But a 100,000 gold lead might not be enough against SK Telecom at Worlds. Just ask 2017 Edward Gaming. They're saving the break round. He got two ready. Bang is hiding. He's coming. Bang looking to come in. Here comes your initiation. They're right there. Oh, oh my God. Dr. Shockwave will find them all. And SK Rumble could not get the perfect equalizer because in half a second, everyone's health bar exploded. One mistake, and a team like SKT will punish you and they will take it all. Soez has had his ups and downs throughout his illustrious career, but whenever you throw him on the game's biggest stage against the best players on the planet, that's when he truly shines the brightest. No, he leveled it up early. Also has a ward. He does get hit though, he slowed. And he's missing a turret, so here comes Bangi. He's gonna flash for the slow, which means Soaz has to burn it preemptively, and he gets his right. Bangi goes the wrong way, Soaz goes back in on Amarin, and the stun is still available. The Q comes in, gets some damage down, but where's his team gonna be? There's no one around right now. He's still running away through the wards. Pop Summoner teleport, and oh! no When you're indisputably the best in the world at something, every now and again you just feel the need to completely style on the competition to remind them. And that's exactly what Imp and Mata did to AHQ in 2014. And that's gonna show himself, so he's gonna push it out there. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh the hook coming in towards BT, they've pulled him into tower end! Oh, they're gonna finish him off! One more auto attack when they've done it! There is him going aggressive! He gets the kill on BT! Can he take on it? Oh, oh well, my! And the lantern to escape to safety! Amazing! Imp is such a bold AD carry. Smeb came into the 2016 World Championship as the number one ranked player in the world, and unfortunately for G2 Esports, they had to discover that fact the hard way. Uh oh, teleport's coming in! Curtain Call and Wish have already been used, a trick is running away! Expect gets caught down, he's got a PA, remember, but he needs Megan... Oh, oh no! Delete it! Remember, I've seen one at G2! The best top laner in the world, Smab, takes over the team fight. In the 2018 group stage, Fnatic and Invictus Gaming exchanged montage-worthy plays across three separate games, but the man who truly stole the show was Broxa, and he did it all blindfolded. You didn't need to go for that play. Well, they're gonna try for another one though, and this one, Body Slam stops the queue. Here comes Bowen as well. 2v1, Proxa may have been up more than he can chew. The health bar's running down. The kick, the Q, the second! Get out. That was gorgeous! Once again, this fight by Proxa, incredible. And you can see it stops the damage of the second Q, but he goes aggressive. I think he surprises the IG jungler. And then just the ability to know that there is no way out. The only way is forward. Oh. Styles on him! I mean, the man had like 20 health and he goes in for the flash kick. He could have looked so silly had he gone down, but he makes it happen. And you gotta feel so good about that one. <laughs> At the Season 1 World Championship Finals, Yellow Star fired one of the most iconic Ash arrows in League's history. Five years later, Prey politely asked Yellow Star to hold his beer and proceeded to launch a cross map game winning arrow in the greatest series of all time. Doing what he can to keep mid lane alive because Top and Hib has been killed and they even got the pick off on Bang. Rox doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now. They can delay the recalls. The arrow! Ash arrows! Look at the arrow! Look at the teleport! He's he's got got 
He stopped him with a big push. It's now on Wolf. It's a Talbert coming in for Smith and Curl. How much more can be done? And more to win right now. Right the tank. Wolf running out of health. He's going to die off. On to the turrets they go, but the minions are gone. And it's too much. SKT are here to defend. This is a difficult 3v2. Pushing down Duke. Down below 1,000. Oath back on towards Prey. Push back yet again. But Smith's running low. But they get it. They're going to win. The Nexus. They're trying to burn it down. Is this stun going to be enough? It's not. Rocks Tigers answer back with game two. In 2014, Dade was regarded as the best mid laner on the planet. Yes, even better than Faker at the time, but not even he could be saved from the wrath of Xpeke when he was fully equipped with the world's buff. Jeff just finished his Trinity Force. Dade's got oh, his Hydra Shadow used. Brutalizer. It's all about finding fights. Deathmon going down, but is it going to be enough? Dade is going to be a. Oh! oh! Xpeke of oh, the Ignite! Not enough to finish off either. The burst, just enough to get Peke the kill and survive. What a pure outlay from Peke. We have to see that one again in slow-mo. After absolutely crushing the 2015 EU LCS, Huni came into Worlds with a lot of hype around him, but didn't quite live up to it when Fnatic got off to a 1-2 and two start. But when he got his hands on Riven, he holo 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 holoed all over the IG roster. But at the same time, a fight in the bottom side. Ulti used on Nikita's keep alive. Reckless tries to zone the team out. There's Andy so low, but there come the teleports. Huni has arrived and all of in this fight, Reckless goes down, the tie gets a bunch of oh, but oh, the double, the double, the, the, double, the, double, the oh, triple oh, kill, the quadra kill for Hootie. For a North American team to sweep a Korean squad in a best of five, something a little out of the ordinary needs to happen. Like perhaps a demigod rising from beneath a volcano to slay a giant purple void worm with one swing of his hammer. But it would be almost the last case. They're gonna try, they're gonna dive into the pit, plenty of damage available, but will they even stop the Baron as the smite? Oh, he gets to kill the jungler! Who's gonna get it? Oh! You gotta be kidding me! Licorice solo carrying this game! Your spring split North American LCS rookie of the split on Orn comes in, takes the Baron, and takes the jungler's life. What an incredible play! You know it's a pretty darn good series when you make up 20% of the list on the top 10 plays of all time. So thank you SKT and Rox Tigers. In a hopeless looking 2v4 scenario against the defending world champions, Peanut and Prey needed only say three words, we win those. The shutdown is there and Gorilla's now just putting bullets in the Duke. How much can they really get? Ooh, bullet time does a lot of forces flash out and now Prey is here, exhaust is on. One kill picked up a Faker, gets it back on the Gorilla Smith. Running out of health and gets shut down as well, but Prey, does he find the targets? Peanut has Guardian Angel, maybe he plays Frontline. How much can they really get? Prey turns oh, a back turn, turn. Look Prey. Prey. Bang. looks for it all! He's got one! What else can he get? It's gonna be Blake in his sights! He's coming back! Baker's low, how much more can they get? The stun's coming in, and it's Duke with the big play! But the turn around from Prey, turning it back in! The chase, the resonating strike, and the ace goes through for Peanut! These fights are out of control this game. Rocks, Tigers, and Prey in particular, time and time again, when you think an AD carry might go back, Prey stays in and he comes out on top. Oh, we're in a world tournament with so many great AD carries. Wondering who will be on top at the end. Prey is definitely making a statement here. 